Want to know how to tell if a diamond is real? These simple at-home tests can help you crack the code. The absolute best way to find out if your diamond is real is to visit your preferred jeweler. Imagine a scenario where you found a diamond on the side of the road while walking your dog. You've searched high and low for any paper trail to an original owner, only to come up short. What's next? Is it real? How can you be sure you have a legitimate diamond in your possession? Unless you are a world-renowned gemologist with a jeweler magnifier attached to your bifocals, telling the difference between an authentic diamond and a diamond simulant, such as a cubic zirconia, can be near impossible. There are also natural white gemstones that could be mistaken for diamonds, like white sapphires or morsinite. So before you go telling your friends about that one time you took your dog for a walk and came home one diamond richer, try out some of these easy tests to see if it's the real thing. One good way to tell if a diamond is real or fake is to read through it. Take a book or receipt with black lettering, turn the diamond upside down, and look through it. If you can read the words through the diamond, it's fake. Real diamonds will refract the wording so much that you can't read the text. Try breathing on your stone. If you breathe on it and fog remains in the stone for several seconds, then the stone is most likely fake. Condensation shouldn't stick to the surface of a genuine diamond. Take a glass of water and drop your diamond in it. If it floats or slowly sinks down low, but not quite touching the bottom, sorry, it's not a diamond. A real diamond will sink like a rock because, well, it is one. You can also purchase a diamond tester. Because he passes through a diamond differently than cubic zirconia and other white gemstones, this electronic device is able to spot a diamond by measuring thermal conductivity. They're not too expensive and you can get them online. Just make sure you follow directions carefully. Some gemstones can pass a lot of these tests and still be an imposter. So make sure you try two or three of them to be sure. When you're ready to purchase a diamond for your loved one, you'll want to know what to look for and what to look out for. When you purchase a high-value diamond, you should be presented with a grading report from a reputable gem lab such as the GIA, the AGS, or the GCAL. The absence of paperwork, especially for purchases over $5,000, is a red flag. Always try to pay with a credit card for record-keeping purposes in case you are a victim of fraud. If the seller only accepts cash, unless you know the seller is trustworthy, that's also a red flag. Don't forget to save your receipt. If there's no return policy, proceed with caution. If your stone passed all the tests and you're 100% positive that the diamond you found is real, then congratulations. Hold on, put the phone down. Don't call your friends just yet. The next thing you need to do is protect it. Get it insured right away with a personal jewelry insurance policy from Jewelers Mutual. Dedicated jewelry insurance protects you from loss, theft, disappearance, and more. And you can get a policy with a deductible starting as low as $0. Click Check Your Rate to get a free, no-obligation quote in seconds, or click Learn More to visit JewelersMutual.com. Until next time.